Hello everyone. Why are you feeling you are no more attractive to others? Why do you think you are not attracting God, desire, abundance for you? Is it due to low self-esteem? Is it due to your age? Is it due to your mindset? Keep watching. I will show you how you can attract God desire abundance, blessings, success into your life. That come today, that come today. Today keyword says, as you think you become. Here is the analysis of the statement. If you touch your body, you think it is hard. It might feel hard, but here is what happened when you think. As you think, your body breathes out vapor into the hair. Your vapor can be positive or negative. It then saturates your environment and attracts the kind of thought you are thinking to you. That is how God wonderfully created us. So learn to feel good daily. Even God says, think on all good things like happiness, joy, that will always make you feel good. Your feeling good is good both for your health and success. Hello everyone, my name is Avalake Janet Oyelami. Before I go deep into today's message, please, if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed, Please subscribe, share my videos, and if it impacts you, like the video and make your own comment so that this channel will be able to impact more lives all around the world. You might be asking yourself, why can't I attract God's desire, blessing, abundance for me? You might be asking yourself this question on a daily basis first of all what is attraction attractiveness or attraction is a quality that causes an interest desire in or gravitation to something or someone most of the time we ask god for some gift or some blessing and immediately in the spiritual realm, God releases those blessings. But why are we not getting those blessings sometimes? Why are the blessings not showing forth in our life sometimes? If you look at the Bible, God said, Ye are gods. That shows that God has created you to achieve anything you want to achieve in life only if you believe you can achieve it the way god created us is this if you love yourself others will love you if you believe in yourself others will believe in you if you believe you look good others will believe that you look good if you believe you are beautiful others will look at you as a beautiful person that is exactly the way God has created us. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve only if you believe in it. If you believe paracetamol can heal your headache, believe me or not, paracetamol will heal your headache. If you believe it's only neurofin that can kill your headache, definitely that is what we work for you. I'm going to share two reasons why you can attract success and good things into your life and why you might not attract success and good things into your life. Number one reason is this. Long-term medication might have affected some part of the brain of some people. And for this reason, they forget about life and start to see themselves 
as unattractive to anyone as unattractive to success so they give up on life and you know i said it before if you believe you are unattractive to success and others so be it if you believe you are attractive to success and others all those things will run after you also depression can make someone to start thinking oh i'm not attractive anymore and you remember what i said before if you keep on saying you're not attractive so be it if you keep on saying you are attractive so be it that is the way god created us and that is the way the world is created for example let's say you are asking god for abundant blessing for success to take you to the next level for god to promote you let's say you are you are asking god give you more money hear this truth if you think money is good money will come to you if you think money is the root of all sin money will run away from you also if you are patient to get that thing you are thinking about to receive that success you are thinking about a success will be rushing after you because they will be looking at you that this person is patient i'm going to go for that person success is also looking for humble people if you are humble and you are thinking about becoming successful thinking about promotion thinking about abundance abundance will first of all look at you is this person humble money will first of all look at you is this person humble is this person patient enough once they see these qualities in you money and success will run after you if you keep on thinking about debt ah i have a lot of debt too much debt too much debt definitely that's what you will continue to see these are the reason why you are not attracting sources these are the reason why you are not attracting abundance in your life when you think about debt debt will come but when you think about money sources it will come to you that is the way god made you i will give this example and i will conclude on this topic Jim Rohn gave an example of a particular man who worked in a particular office. He had never been promoted for a long time. People at office laugh at him every day. People at office never want to sit beside him every day. Most of the time, whenever he goes to work, people do abuse him on the way. So one day, he was thinking, Maybe he should end his life because nobody loves him. So one day he was listening to one of the motivational messages on on YouTube, and he came across Jim Rohn, and um, Jim Rohn became his mentor, and he told Jim Rohn all his life story, and how he was planning to end his life and Jim Rohn asked him this question what have you been thinking in your heart on a daily basis he told Jim Rohn that because people don't like him at work and for that reason he doesn't believe in himself anymore he hated himself and Jim Rohn told him that because he hated himself people will hate him because he never believed in promotion they will never promote him because people have been abusing him every time he come to work on his way to work in the bus and he believed that that is the way his life supposed to be that is what will continue to happen to him so Gino told him that he should start to change his mindset he should start to change his thinking on a daily basis so they work on this mindset they work on this positive thinking for 
three months. After three months, in fact, this man started to love himself. He started to believe in himself. He started to say he can achieve anything in life. On one particular Monday, he got to work. Everyone was smiling at him at work. So all, like two of the staff came to him and said, Hi, good morning. Are you okay? You look good today. The man was so shocked. He said, oh, he was, he said in his heart, this person has never come to me before. How come he come to me today? The other day, the next day, he got on the bus and he saw people smiling at him, smiling to him, saying hello to him. He was so shocked. He went back to Jim Rohn and said, this is what is happening to his life. At that particular time, Jim Rohn said, you change your thinking, good things start to happen to you. You smile to people, people start to smile to you. You believe in promotion, you get promotion. You believe people hate you, people hate you. You believe people love you, people love you. You love yourself, people love you. That is the way God made us. So, do you want to attract success, happiness, joy, love into your life? I will advise you today, change your thinking positively. You want people to love you? Love yourself. You want money to come to you? Don't hate money. Love money. You want success to come to you? Don't hate success. Love success. Love those who are rich. And all this will be attracted to you. You want people to smile at you? On the road, smile at them. So, what you think about mom is what you see in your life. Start changing your thinking positively today. And success, joy, happiness become yours. Hope this impacts you. Speak to you soon.